tragic story of the smartest man in history. He had an IQ greater than Albert Einstein and Isaac Newton. This is the sad story of William James Sidis, the smartest man in history. Albert Einstein had an IQ of 160, and Isaac Newton's IQ was 190. With an IQ believed to be somewhere between 250 and 300, William is said to be the most intelligent man to ever walk the earth. William was born in New York City in 1898. His parents were geniuses themselves. His father, Boris, was a distinguished psychologist who had earned four degrees from Harvard. His mother was also an MD. With intelligence running in the blood, his parents expected a brilliant child, but William's genius proved to be out of this world. At the age of just 18 months, he could read the New York Times. By the age of eight, he had already taught himself eight different languages including Latin, Greek, Hebrew, and Russian. He didn't stop at that, he also invented his own, called Vendergood. With such extraordinary intelligence, we ought to know about him, right? And yet, very few of us do. His father noticed his abilities and tried to enroll him at Harvard, but William was rejected as he was only nine at that time. At the age of 11, he became the youngest person ever to be admitted to Harvard in 1909. Within a year, William's knowledge of mathematics reached so high that he started lecturing his own professors at Harvard, and earned the title of child prodigy. At the age of 16, he completed his Bachelor of Arts degree and gained widespread fame because of his excellent and gifted abilities. Tired by the tremendous fame gathered at an early age, William decided to live a secluded life. He was an introvert who enjoyed solitude and believed it was the perfect life. He also disclosed that he did not wish to get married and wanted to run away from all the fame and attention. At that time, America believed in turning children into great prodigies with fame and education, and William's father was no exception. He applied his own psychological approaches to push his son to continue his education. But as William was growing up, he refused to live life on his father's terms and blamed him for changing his opinions about education. When Boris passed away in 1923, William refused to even attend his funeral. To keep a low profile, he worked as a clerk and did such other small jobs. Yet, he became the target of many reporters and soon, he was found working a $1.23 per week job. People began to mock his intelligence and news claimed that he had lost his childhood abilities. It was discovered later than this was not true at all, and he wrote multiple genius books using different pseudonyms. Soon, William became a socialist and was an objector of World War I. He was arrested in 1919 for a protest in Boston, where he was sentenced to prison for 18 months. However, his parents bailed him out and instead, locked him up in a sanatorium. William spent the rest of his life broken and completely lonely. He became estranged from his family and worked very petty jobs to earn his bread and butter. The man could have made remarkable discoveries and enlightened the world with his intelligence. Unfortunately, he passed away in 1944 at the age of just 46 as a mere nobody, suffering alone from a cerebral hemorrhage. Interestingly, his father died of the same condition at age 56. The tragic story of the smartest man on earth now remains a trivial memory in the pages of history.